Good morning, West USA Realty. This is Keith Flynn, Director of Digital Marketing here at West USA Realty. Hope everyone's having a great morning. I mean, talk about, wow, woke up this morning and beautiful weather out. So I was like, okay, we're trying to re uh, revitalize a little springtime here before we get into the hot months of summer. But uh, happy to have you guys on with us this morning. Uh, we are going to go be going through Facebook Live, uh, the producer, Facebook Live producer. They have rolled out a, a relatively new dashboard tool that allows us to uh, have a few more enhancements, a few more tools when going live. And so how can we as real estate agents implement that into our marketing tool belt, our strategy for gaining uh, visibility, attracting more uh, clients, getting more attention on our brand, and pretty much from there, uh, using this tool to um, showcase our listings and do a lot of fun things. So uh, with that, uh, as always, we'd like to just throw a little quick shout out to our sponsors. I do not have Anthony Cucci uh, with us this morning from HCP Property Inspections, but great guy over there, great team, uh, awesome inspectors, and uh, a preferred vendor of us here at West USA Realty. And uh, with that, uh, I do happen to have um, Bree uh, from uh, VIP Mortgage who's with us this morning and uh, I definitely want to say thank you to her for sponsoring and, 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 and sharing and casting out all of our information and love to give her an opportunity to chat a little bit about VIP mortgage and go from there. So Bree, uh, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much, Keith. So you're welcome. Uh, Anthony is amazing. Yeah. I love him. I absolutely, he's so awesome. Um, but thank you so much for including me on this. I am loving all of the webinars that you're doing. By oh, the way, thank you. I've learned like so much from them. I think that you can never learn too much about social media. It changes so frequently. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. And so I am absolutely loving it. So thank you for including me on these things. Um, so I do business development for VIP. So I work with a team of loan officers and I think with loan officers, I mean, you have all different kinds of loan officers and our loan officers are fantastic. They know the programs in and out. There's a lot of changes that are happening. So if there are, if there is anybody who has questions, um, I don't speak on the specifics as far as what it's looking like right now. Um, but my loan officers know those things like in and out. So if there are things that come up that you have questions about, let me know because I can get you in contact with one of them because we have calls um, on a weekly basis that tell go over like all of those updates and things so definitely reach out to me let me know if there's that's something they can help you out with but for me personally so i do business development and my biggest thing is wanting to partner with agents and really kind of figure out what is it that we can do to help to make your life and your business easier for you um and i've learned so much from different agents i really love like picking agents brains and figuring out what is it really that's going to help you one of the things that I actually, I like had a little bit of inspiration from you, Keith, was that we started a virtual home tour. Nice. Um, and I love it because it's actually, it's grown so much. So the first one we actually, on the first tour that we did, we had three West USA agents on it. And so it was fantastic. They were amazing and they had some beautiful properties. Um, we had a total of eight listings. So nice. we're doing it again this week. It's this afternoon at 3.30, and we actually have 13 listings on this one. Okay. So it's growing, and it's definitely, I'm so excited because it's given, you know, it gives agents an opportunity to kind of, while it can be a little bit difficult right now to do those in-person tours and the in-person marketing to each other, we're wanting to give that opportunity to do it from a distance. Um, and so if that's something that anybody's interested in either getting a listing featured or just joining the call to kind of see what's out there, we're doing it all across the Valley. So the 13 listings are just everywhere. Um, yeah. so it's a good opportunity just to kind of see what's out there and get the ins and outs of the properties. And Brie, how, if uh, anyone listening today wanted to jump on the virtual home tour later this afternoon, how would they get to that? So shoot me over an email and I can send you the zoom link for it. And then once you have that Zoom link, so anybody who previously was on it, if you have that same Zoom link, it can be used. It's the same, it's gonna be the same one every time. We're doing it every two weeks and it's on the it's gonna be on Thursday at 3.30. Nice. So it'll be today at 3.30. And if you don't have that link, just shoot me an email. My email is 
pretty much the alphabet. So it's <laughs> free at VIPMTGINC.com. And I can send you over the Zoom link, or you can go on Facebook and find our group. We have a group that's um, Valley Virtual Tours Phoenix Metro. And you can request to be added there and we post the Zoom link in there too. And we're also kind of posting some of the listings that we see on the tour and things like that. So it's really, it's been awesome to kind of see that. That's fantastic. Yeah, Bri, I, I'm glad to see, and thank you for obviously the kind words about the webinars and implementing that into your guys' strategy. Um, it's it's not just for agents it's for you guys it's for brokerages it's for any small business owner i mean obviously you know everyone's like oh we can't wait to get back to the norm well you know i don't i don't really think there's going to be the old norm there's going to be a new norm there's going to be a new way that we um, we approach um how we interact with people um especially in the home buying and selling process you know you may have people who are like eh, i'm not worried about it come on in open house open house have fun you know, snacks, hors d'oeuvres, things like that on the island. But mm -hmm. there's going to be people who are a little bit different about it, you know, and obviously that's their right, you know, and if they don't want people in their home and they prefer we go with a virtual home tour, I think as agents and as all agents have been doing over the, you know, the decades, we have to pivot and adjust and adapt to whatever the new uh, way is. And by using technology, which is why we're all here today, uh, using Facebook Live, in order to not only build your brand, get your message out there, but also utilize this tool in order to showcase our homes and and take advantage of this, this technology to to keep things going and keep moving forward and and ultimately drive more revenue for us as agents, right? So that's great. Well, well Brie, thank I you so, so much cool again. To be able to, it's cool to be able to use it as a resource instead of looking at it as kind of something that's going to replace something. It's an added benefit, and exactly. I love that you've kind of opened that door. So absolutely. I, Thank you, Keith. Awesome, Brie. Well, thank you so much, Brie. We'll, uh, we'll chat with you soon. I'm sure we'll see you in the weeks thank to come. You. Have a great day, and uh, thanks again. Bye. Awesome. Hey, so guys, um, speaking of technology and little uh, little things, little fun stuff to do, quick little announcement um, since we all last were on here. I uh, am excited to share with you guys that uh, we, um, if you're using Instagram, Instagram Stories, um, you know, if you haven't, uh, used the animated gifts to add more, uh, you know, make your Instagram stories more fun, more engaging. Um, we, um, have launched and rolled out six, uh, cool animated gifts through the use of your Instagram stories. And so these are branded for the brokerage, but, uh, we've got six there. You can have fun with add a little more fun to your, uh, post your Instagram stories. And so by simply, um, searching, when you look for stickers, uh, type in West USA Realty, you can uh, have fun with and take advantage of our uh, gifts that we have. And let me just play that for you one more time. Look back up here. And there we go. Um, that way you can see uh, the uh, flash and animate and just have a little bit of a branding. Well, you have a lot of branding element to it, too. But there's a uh, soul just listed. Uh, of course, the state of Arizona is home. Uh, open house. And so, uh, and then of course our flashing West USA logo there. So uh, have fun with those jump in there. You can find them by searching the keywords West USA Realty. And of course there's more to come. Uh, I'm working on some new ones, a lot of fun ones. If you have any ideas uh, for an animated gift for the brokerage branding, feel free to email me. Love to get your guys' input. I'm Keith at WestUSA.com. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, course compliments feel free to jump into that chat box there on the right and um uh, ask me anything you, you may uh need to have an answer for um i have uh, lots of opportunity here for us to chat engage while we go through the powerpoint presentation uh won't be a lot of slides uh want to get more into a live environment show you guys the dashboard and how you guys can start using facebook live producer for your marketing efforts and so um Hope everybody can hear me. Hope everything's going well. If you have any technical issues, feel free to jump in there. Carol, I see that you mentioned you can't hear anything. Um, maybe try restarting your uh, cast and hopefully that'll work out for you there and you'll be able to uh, jump in and listen. Um, so what is Facebook Live Producer? So I just jotted down a quick the description of it. Um, if you, whether you've gone live, whether you've been using videos, you're considering it, you're apprehensive. Um, by now, I'm pretty sure that most of us have a Facebook pre 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 <laughs> presence. Uh, we are on Facebook. We have our business page. 
we may be running a closed group, you may be in a closed group, uh, any aspect at all for Facebook that you, you are looking to get some more exposure, um, there is an awesome opportunity for you to get started with using Facebook Live. And whether you've gone live uh, on Instagram or Periscope, uh, any number of lives that you can go, Snapchat, um, you name it, um, the chances are of you, the chance of you having exposure to live is very high, whether you've witnessed it or watched it or have been doing it yourself. Um, there is an, uh, an easy way to go live uh, now from your desktop, which is awesome. Um, you could before, but they've created this dashboard that's pretty cool. So it basically allows you to um, implement some third party software if you wanted to. We'll talk about some of the uh, softwares they have available. But for the most part, uh, you've got a camera on your computer. You can go live from your desktop. And for a lot of us that are apprehensive about being on camera, um, the desktop version is an awesome way for you guys to use the, uh, their software to do a, a, sh a screen share and, and cr basically show a listing presentation or a, um, um, a uh, MLS listing, go through some of your photos. I know I spoke about this um, on a previous class, and so this is getting more involved into using the actual tool itself. But why are we using Facebook Live is, is important because uh, there's some statistics I'll show you here for sure that'll definitely benefit you, but it'll allow you to land, pretty much manage your live posts from a desktop really Plain and simple, nothing crazy about that whatsoever. So, uh, I've had a lot of folks ask me, like, "Why should I go live?" You know, uh, you know, I don't like going live. I don't want to be on camera, and that's fine. Totally understand it. Um, the most important thing is because everyone loves being in front of a camera, right? <laughs> um, no, not everyone does, and I totally get that. Uh, it's just like public speaking. A lot of folks have some issues with it, but the cool thing about going live on um, your desktop is again, you can, you can do this and be pretty much the narrator. You can narrate the story. You don't actually have to be on camera. Um, you will be just a very small little pop picture and picture window in the corner if you wanted to, and just use your desktop, your PowerPoint presentation to be, uh, the main thing that everyone sees on the screen. Most importantly about going live, Facebook favors live. They love live, uh, the way their algorithm is, uh, the way that they have scripted their algorithm. Uh, their latest algorithm it used to be that their algorithm was all about photos and you know engagement, which it still is, but they've put a significant emphasis on going live and their algorithm, uh, especially with live videos, um, uh, is the premier uh, choice over any other content. So if you're working hard to reach your followers or a specific segment of your folks on Facebook live will be uh, and make it a lot easier. You'll be able to deliver your message and uh, as we all know, hopefully you know by now, after listening to me live, people retain uh, live messaging uh, um, is, is retained at a higher percentage than any other form of communication, whether it be text and, and imagery. So, um, you know, and users like it. Users like live video. They like it a lot uh, to the point where they statistically have shown Facebook six times more as many interactions when it comes to a traditional video. Uh, live video creates what they call FOMO, the fear of missing out. Uh, as you go live, Facebook pushes notifications to your app, to your desktop. They, they, they let your audience, the people who follow you know that you're live and it, what's happening is happening in real time. And so, uh, that triggers an endorphin in the brain and people want to be a part of that and they jump in real quick and they want to see, okay, what are we live about? And if you have anybody who's following you and knows that you're a trusted agent, knows that you do really cool content. You have great interviews, you showcase neighborhoods, community, uh, you know, interview folks, uh, and then you're conditioning your audience to really get excited when you do go live. And especially if you're putting out high value content and, um, and then of course, live video encourages people to engage, uh, and it helps you, uh, build relationships with people in real time. It's no different than if someone, uh, was face to face with you or you're in a group setting. Uh, now we're just using technology and we're at a safe distance again, uh, you know, it's relevant because it's, it's current in today's climate. Um, people want to still get the message, still in getting involved with you at the same time. Uh, you know, I don't need to leave the comfort of my home or I don't need to get out of my car. Uh, I can watch live content from a mobile device. And so anywhere you're casting, uh, people can see it. And then the great thing about going live is you're going to build authority. 
you're going to uh, show that you're a trusted agent, that you're a knowledgeable uh, trusted agent in the area. As I've mentioned before, the neighborhood mayor, um, you're going to grow your audience uh, exponentially this way and allows you the scale of it is, is great because you can get a, a lot in front of a lot of people and you can get your message out to those people, whatever your message may be around real estate. And so um, one of the things that, ooh, I got some margin issues there, but tucked it in perfectly. Uh, one of the um, one of the aspects to going live, people get a little fearful for, is they think they need all this gear. You need to buy all this equipment. Um, you know, whether you're going live from your cell phone or you're going live from a desktop, or you want to go to a next level, what they call a level four or level three or level four uh, live streaming, means you have a dedicated computer, you have a dedicated camera on a tripod, it doesn't move. You pretty much walk into the room, you turn a few switches on, and you're live. So that's a level four. That's a dedicated room or setup for your live casting. Uh, level one would be your camera, your video camera, uh, your your smartphone, your uh, smart device, not your smart device, your smartphone, your cell phone, iPhone, Android. That would be a level one. That's just going live, remote, mobile. Um, so when it comes to going live from a desktop, two things are either going to be on a laptop or a dedicated, you know, traditional PC tower or a tower of some sort with a dedicated camera. And so um, when it comes to most of the camera that we have, cameras are available on all most laptops. Uh, obviously, they're integrated into our our, our uh, smartphones. Um, but when it comes to your desktop, you can up your game just a little bit by investing in a webcam. Uh, they are 1080p, 4K cameras. I see them available quite a bit. The one I like to use, um, I have a webcam. It's a Logitech C920. Got it on sale for like 45 bucks last. I think we we bought it last year around Christmas time. Right now, the price point's like at $70, $80. So if you shop around, not too bad. But a uh, small investment to really up the quality of your camera work. And so now if you're going to be someone who's going to be more on the camera, you're going to be in front of the camera, then having a little bit of a better camera will benefit you, just be a more, cl a more clear picture. Or uh, if you're more of a share your screen, you're going to be more in that mode, then you know, really spending the money from the camera is not a huge deal. You're working well with the one you have. So um in addition to having a camera, um, you can use third-party software. Uh, OBS is a, uh, a, a, a free platform um, for um, casting your live streaming. Um, Ecamm is another software, uh, as well as um, BeLive. So B dot L I V E, uh, the three top most common ones. Uh, OBS is a free uh, open platform um, uh, casting service. The reason why I mentioned third party softwares is if you, once you get comfortable with using the Facebook live producer, you can go to the next level and use a third party software that offers a lot of other bells and whistles, um, graphic overlays. You can run pre-roll video. You could be your own little producer from your laptop. And I know it may sound a little cumbersome or a little overwhelming because you're, it, there's a tech element to it, but just know that they're very intuitive and easy to use. And all these third-party softwares have a closed Facebook group for supporting its customers. And so we use Ecamm here quite a bit, and we can do overlays that's, you know, the bottom is like Keith Lynn, director of digital marketing, and then whoever your guest is, or uh, you have a call to action. You can do live stream overlays, um, phone number, email address, website, uh, while you're in the, in the uh, live stream, which is really cool. So elevate your game a little bit. I mentioned it. If you have any questions, you can email me, Keith at WestUSA.com, and I'll be able to send you guys um, some links to the software and walk you through it. So they're really fun to use, and you can have a lot of fun with it. Uh, audio is a big element to it. So um, we use professional microphones here, a desktop mic that's uh, run in through the computer, a web-based microphone. At home, I use a professional microphone, and the microphone can be used for any number of tools such as Zoom or if you're in Facebook Rooms, which they recently launched. I know Google just launched their um, ch uh, chat rooms as well. So uh, if you guys aren't noticing a theme by now, everyone's rushing to do live video, uh, live um, Zoom type casting. And so there's a lot of competition out there, which is good for the consumer because at the end of the day, if everyone is relatively free and we're able to use this tool for our uh, needs. Audio is a big element, as I mentioned. Whether you grab a lavalier mic or a microphone, uh, that will help with some clarity. Um, I know a lot of our laptops have some built-in microphones, but sometimes it can sound echoey. 
definitely an option for when you're going to go live. Uh, consider your audio as well. Lighting, a huge element. Um, lighting is a big one. So if you are in an office that has a window or a backlit room, like the lighting is behind you, you will come out in a dark silhouette, kind of like when we used to watch, um, you know, uh, interviews from people who are in witness protection. And so they obviously black them out and they change their voice. So uh, to kill that effect, there are a number of inexpensive um, lighting uh, options out there for you. I recommend a desktop ring light, um, relatively inexpensive on Amazon, I think maybe 20, 30 bucks. They've got cl uh, clip-on ring lights too for your smartphone that you can use as well. And the clip is pretty big, so you can even uh, clip it on the top of your monitor and get you some additional lighting there. And again, you can use that light for you know Zoom, um, Zoom meetings, any other video needs as well. And then uh, quality is a big element that you want to focus on when it comes to your sur your surroundings um, when you're filming. Uh, make sure the lighting is good. Make sure that you have um, uh, uh, you know, the, what's behind you is not like there's nothing, you know, you don't clutter or if you can avoid like having anything that's inappropriate, you know, look behind you and see what would your audience be looking at as well. And then, um, you know, having a, um, a, a, the quality of the, the cast will come across and you look like more professional. And then make sure you have a good, strong Internet connection. You know, if you're at home, if you can be wired in, great. If not, make sure you have a solid Wi-Fi or you're near, you're near your access point so you have a solid Wi-Fi connection. This will definitely help with a better connection. It'll translate to, to your audience. You'll have a crisp, more clear picture. And, of course, if you're off Wi-Fi and you're you're in a, in a level one or you're using your cell phone, uh, you know, make sure you have a solid 4G connection and that you're able to cast a, a really solid stream. So um, if you can't or the, the device is not going to work, the last line there, uh, Facebook does test the line, test the strength and quality of the video, and they will gray out the button, meaning you can't go live because they think or they say that you don't have a strong enough connection. So just food for thought when it comes to quality of your cast. So one of the big elements is like, okay, what is it that I should be doing when I go live, right? Five tips on what to say. When you decide to go live, you, you whether you're going to be doing a virtual home tour or you're going to interview somebody, um, whatever that looks like, whatever that looks like to you, um, you, um, you know, think about what you're going to say ahead of time. Don't worry about a script. I, I don't ever want to use a script when you're live. If you have some bullet points written down just off screen or some notes to your right to help you remember your timeline of what you want to share, that's fine. But most importantly, when you're ready to go live, um, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Keith Flynn. I'm a trusted real estate agent here at West USA Realty. And today I'm going to be talking about or sharing this. So first and foremost, when you decide to go live, what you should definitely do is introduce yourself. You can't always assume, all right, well, yeah, they're following your business page or they're in the closed group and they can see who it is. It's always important to introduce yourself and, and let them know uh, who you are, what you do, what brokerage you're with, and then, of course, uh, what, what we're going to be talking about today. I know a lot of agents, and I've heard from other folks who go live, uh, they'll sit quietly for the first 30 seconds to a minute or maybe they'll just kind of, you know, wrap back and forth with whoever's on there because they're waiting for Facebook to notify all your followers that you're live. And while that is a smart play and that does usually happen, um, you don't want to sit there for too long. So give it 30 seconds. Facebook's pretty fast now with casting out notifications to your audience members that you are live. So um, what you can do to kill some time is, is as people are jumping on, um, welcome them, thank them for watching. And do some shout outs. Hey, Keith. Uh, oh, hey, hey, how's it going, Bill? How are you today? Uh, oh, hey, look, there's Nancy. Hey, Nancy, how are you doing? Uh, as people are joining your live stream, you'll see who they are and you can shout out to them and just say hi. Hey, thanks for watching. Really excited to get going. We're going to be talking about, um, you know, this virtual home tour or I've got a listing at 123 Main Street. Um, so ask for uh, or you know, encourage folks to engage with you uh, when and as they're signing on. So and people, you know, they like to hear their name like, hey, he just said my name. Like, you know, they see you, you see them. And uh, again, we're in a live environment. So uh, remember to engage while you're sharing your content and ask questions and um, encourage encourage them to comment uh, and uh, engage with you overall. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, high value content. When you're going to go live, let's make sure that we're doing our best to put out high value content. So what to say, we'll talk about maybe here's three tips to 
decluttering your home or uh, five tips that uh, every homeowner should do before they decide to list their house. Um, or maybe you interview a vendor, uh, one of your preferred uh, loan officers or a um, title rep, or um, you reach out to a professional organizer and we do an interview with them for your content. Now, the cool thing is with Facebook Live, you can bring somebody in and you can have a split screen interview with uh, somebody or because uh, they can request to join in on the live and then you can have a, an interview. Or if you've recorded your interview before going live and you have that video in the can, you have that recording, uh, that video before you decide to go live, you can then just do a screen share and do an intro. Like, you know, uh, even if your person or your vendor or whoever you're talking with is not available at the time, let them know. Had a chance to interview a local business owner in the area, a small mom and pop pizzeria, whatever your whoever you're interviewing, and then just preface it with, and I'm going to play the video now, and then let your video roll. Again, you're in a live environment, so regardless of what the, the video is pre-recorded, you can still engage folks in the chat box and have conversations and an answer any questions they may have. While you're on the call uh, or on your live video, ask questions. Uh, just little things like, hey, do you guys agree or disagree? Uh, what do you guys think? Um, you know, little questions like that to encourage people to engage with you while you're live is a great tool uh, to uh, and, and tactic to remember when you're live. And of course, when you come to the very end of your video, have a strong call to action. What would you like them to do? Uh, encourage them to turn on the notifications for any future live videos they may you may have uh, in the upper right hand corner of your live video when it posts. They can select notify me when they go live or when this person goes live um, or encourage them to visit your other videos uh, that you may have done. If there's anything that you've spoken about today that's relevant and you've done another video for, uh, you can encourage them to check out your other videos in the video section of your tab. And one of the cool things you can do after the fact that I see a lot of agents don't do this um, after you've gone live. If there is something that you've spoken about during your live stream, jump back into the description of the post because remember, all your videos, when you're finished live, will record and they live natively on Facebook. So uh, you can always go back into your archive and see past videos. If there's something that you've spoken about in your live cast that you have a link to or more information for or uh, maybe something you forgot, you can go back into the description and put a little footnote in there. As I mentioned at three minutes in, um, here is the contact information for a great landscaper that I mentioned, or uh, you know, reach out to Bree at VIP Mortgage or whatever the case may be. Um, so often when I see live videos post, it's just the, the subject like, hey guys, virtual home tour, and then like the street address. But go back into that description and add more context. Um, you know, people may want to read a little bit more about what the video is going to be before they hit play. And so you can do that awesome tool and awesome way for you guys to um, cross post and get some more content on there as well. So uh, I'm going to see if I can break the stream here and we're going to go into a live environment and we're going to take you guys right into the Facebook uh, live producer here. And I want to show you guys just pretty much the dashboard, which is why you're here, right? You want to see how this thing works and how we can get it to, uh, do what we needed to do. So um, easiest thing to do from your business page is uh, right below here where it says create. Typically, we're going to create a post, right? So we're, whether we're going to say, you know, uh, you know, Monday motivational or uh, whatever your post is, beautiful new listing, three bedroom, three bath, so two, three bedroom, two bath, whatever it is you're going to share. Uh, from here, uh, this is your main post screen. So you can Whoop, close out of that. I just want to show you where it lives because right above that, where you create your post, probably everyone's seen that before, just above it, there's a create and there's a live button. So we can go ahead and click on that live button and we can go live from our business page. Now go ahead and click on it. You're not going to go live right away, but what that's going to do is take you to the live producer. And so as you see here, um, you have a dashboard that consists of uh, only uh, your ability to go live. So there's a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of features here, but what this does is it declutters a lot of the other stuff that we've seen before in the past when you still had advertising on the right, 
It was just a very small pop-up box that was like, what do you want to go live about? So starting on the left-hand side under, um, the, you'll see there's a previous version there, but the new producer, uh, you can go live, which is what the current setting is right now once we were to go live, or you can schedule a live video. Now, I highly recommend scheduling a live video because um, that primes your social media. That will push out a post uh, to your main business page or if you were going to go live from a closed group, um, if you were, let's say you're running a neighborhood closed group or if you are a participant in a closed group, uh, scheduling a live video will push out a notification to the group, the group, the people who uh, follow your business page and let them know that you're going to be going live on a certain date and time. Highly recommend doing this because this is a great way to uh, create a sense of urgency, get people excited, give them a little sneak peek of what to look forward to, and then obviously schedule around your live accordingly. Uh, from here, as you uh, scroll down, you'll see the date and time that you're going to go live. And then uh, currently, it's attached to your business page, obviously, because that's where we click the live button from. I have the option to share to a page that I manage, uh, or I can go into my timeline. Or I can I can go right from a group. So whether you start from inside the group or you start from on the business page, you can still make those changes here. And the cool thing is you can go live on your personal page as well. Just really depends on where you want to go live from. But I'm going to leave it as a page I manage. And then, of course, we manage several pages here. So I, it defaults to our main West USA Realty. If that was Keith Flynn, West USA Realty, or John Smith, West USA Realty, that's where it's going to post your live video from. Second, we want to give your live video a title. So um, virtual home tour, right? And then maybe, uh, you know, we do North Phoenix um, gated property or whatever, the, whatever your title is uh, going to be. But um, if it's going to be a virtual home tour, if it's going to be an uh, uh, interview with a landscaper, um, three tips to decluttering your home before sale, how to get pre-qualified. Maybe you're not sure that you pre-qualify. Um, I bet you do. Whatever your attention grabbing title is, that's where it's gonna live. Say something about the video. Uh, give a quick little um, bio of what you're gonna share. Um, you know, uh, today I'm, I'm lucky to have uh, XYZ company uh, will be talking about three things that we can do to um, you know, spruce up our backyard. Or uh, today I'm working with a contractor who's going to talk about one thing that we can do to increase the value of our home uh, for under $500. Uh, something like that. Little description. And then from there, you can, this is, this is the part that I love, obviously. Um, you can cross post to more pages if you wanted to as well. And then um, your, uh, if, if your, uh, if your main page, <clears throat> if your main business page is linked to a group that you manage, you can cross post into your group as well at the same time. So this is an awesome feature. Um, if you have a, a business page for your real estate agency or your real, as you as a real, realtor, you can link your business page to a closed group that you also manage, and then you can cross post. So great tool, uh, something you weren't able to do before, but now you can. And then uh, you can select an image. Highly recommend doing this. You can select an image. You can create a thumbnail for your video. So maybe ahead of time, you take a screenshot of you and whoever you're interviewing, or maybe the image is of the exterior of the home. And then when you post your live, um, your live uh, scheduled live post, that image will be used as the placeholder in the post, letting everyone know that you're going to go live. So pretty cool tool to use for sure. Um, the uh, live tab on a page. So here is the page. This URL is basically used for videos, to uh, live videos. So you can use this link, copy this link, and put this in an email signature. You can use this link to share out to other social media platforms to, again, prime your uh, social media and let everyone know ahead of time that you're going to go live. And I highly recommend doing that. If you're going to go live, um, be sure to let everyone know ahead of time, hey, on Friday, we're going to be showcasing and doing a virtual home tour for a beautiful property in Moon Valley. Um, and then give give a little tidbits about the home, but don't tell, don't share too much because you obviously want to encourage them to come and participate in the uh, live video. 
So some other cool tools that they have uh, for your live streaming is the stream health, which is really neat. This basically breaks down a metrics for you when you're live. Um, it shows you uh, the bit rate, which is how fast uh, your, your stream is, your frame rate, which is how many uh, frames per second your video is capturing you. And it kind of gives you an idea if you're struggling or if the stream is having an issue and then um, your audio bit rate as well. So all of what we cast, our video, our audio is all uh, bandwidth. So this gives you an idea of how healthy um, you can go live. Highly recommend when going live, try to do at least 10 minutes. The sweet spot seems to be 10 minutes on a live broadcast. So for you guys as real estate agents, uh, you've got a lot to talk about, a lot to feature in the home. A 10 minutes is awesome. Uh, Facebook likes 10 minute videos uh, when it comes to live streaming and uh, is a great way for you to um, uh, register with Facebook. Uh, their algorithm will say and detect that, you know, you are a, um, you're putting out great content. And what that does is the next time you go live, um, Facebook will say, hey, this person puts out content uh, at, at, at a long form version in live in a live video. And it will give you some more weight and credibility the next time you go live with your stream. So, um, that's your health stream. You have polls, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can preload and prime your live stream with a poll. So let's say I want to ask a question. Um, are you um, looking to move? Whoop, here we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> are you looking to move in the next dot, dot, dot? And then options could be six months. Um. 12 months and then and so on and you can add more options in there or maybe you ask a question about um you know when's a uh, uh you know are you renting are you an owner what you know whatever questions you want to ask to encourage your audience to participate in you can create these polls then they will live on the right hand side over here i'm gonna hit save your poll will live over there on the oh, all right, let me see over here. I think I lost it. Your poll um, will live over here. And then during your live stream, you can click on your polls and drop the poll in and it'll actually show as an overlay uh, in your stream, which is really awesome. You uh, uh, can ask questions during your, your live streaming. And so maybe you have a poll loaded in there that you're gonna ask at the point when you're in the backyard. And then you can drop that poll in and then folks can engage and, and, and encourage them to engage and respond to your poll. Uh, during the live cast, which is really awesome too. And then you have the same premise too, where you have a question. So maybe you have a preloaded question in there and you can load a question in um, for your cast and then it would drop in as an overlay during your segment. So it's pretty cool, a uh, neat tool to use and help encourage those folks to engage with you and obviously allow you to converse back with them and create more relationship. So, um, when it comes to uh, getting started, you have three options here. Most of us are going to use the camera on our device. Uh, the, the key here, this use key stream, that's for third-party software, a little more advanced. So we're not going to go into that today, but um, uh, there are a lot of tools out there, as I mentioned, with Ecamm, OBS, um, as well as um, um, BeLive. So that's where your stream key would drop in. You would use this stream key and, and, and connect it with a third-party application. We're not gonna get that advanced today, but we're just gonna use our camera here. Unfortunately, I did do a test before we got rocking our own here and I'm having issues with the browser and the camera. So you're not gonna be able to see my pretty face today. Sorry for depriving you guys of that. Um, but we, uh, uh, when setting up your camera, most of us are only gonna have one option when it comes to setting up a camera. Uh, it'll be, if your camera lives on your device, it's gonna ask you to allow access to both the camera and the internal microphone easy thing to do. So if you're going to take advantage of live, use this camera here. Uh, this your camera is for your built in device. Um, if you do have an option to use an external webcam, as I mentioned here, I do have one connected, but for some reason, we are not having uh, any success getting it to work. So um, but simple setups. And then when you're ready to go live, you would test it here with your um, with the button here. Uh, quick access to your live videos. This lets viewers know that you're where to find you from a live video. So you can change out uh, and copy this URL, post that out to your um, to your audience. So the 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 live environment is pretty 
it's it, it, it seems overwhelming at first, but it's actually pretty easy to use and a great tool to um, uh, cast out your live stream. Once it live streams, you've got a lot of analytics that will pop up here as well. Um, I can't. I wish I could go live, but unfortunately, the camera does not work for me right now. But when you go live, uh, you uh, yes, yeah, here you go. Browser you're using doesn't support the camera, so we can't go live at this point. Um, I will probably do a follow up video after this showing you what it looks like once you go live, and then of course, uh, most importantly, and I mentioned this in previous classes, if you are going to um, um, go live. Create yourself a secret closed group. All of us can create closed groups. There's no cost associated with that. And when you uh, create a closed group, and I'll show you guys here, um, when you select go live in a closed group, and I love doing this one, uh, I can choose, let's see if we can find it here. We've got one called WUSA REST USA Live Test Group. So this live test group is a secret group that I created before we went into the, got into this at all. Um, this group only consists of like one or two other people. And I use this group in order for me to go in. I go live and I practice. I rehearse. Uh, I get familiar with the, the dashboard and the integration of using the Facebook Live producer. Uh, I uh, do a home tour of my house as a practice. Um, we, uh, I go through, I load in my photos. If I have a separate folder that's integrated on my laptop, I've got all my photos from my MLS listing. I've got any video I may have. Uh, I've got any um, um, graphics I may want to use. I have those all in one place. And so when I go to share my screen, uh, I use in this closed group to test and work out all those bugs. I get comfortable with it. And so I highly recommend creating yourself a secret closed group you invite maybe one or two people, uh, you know, your, your, your spouse, son, daughter, family member, colleague, uh, you know, especially if you're on a team and use that safe environment to work through and, and get comfortable rehearsing going live. That way you don't have to go live and then bug a bunch of people. And then, uh, you know, people are like, oh, he's live right now. And you're fumbling through your, your, your routine. You're getting used to it. So you don't have to look bad and you put your best foot forward when you're ready to go live. Um, Highly recommend, um, you know, making sure you have all your content in front of you and ready to rock and roll. And don't worry about stumbling or stuttering or messing something up. Do your best to get used to using the technology in the secret group. And then when you're ready to go live, um, you just be genuine. Be yourself. This is where people are going to determine if you're likable or not. And by going live, uh, you can do that. And uh, people are used to live as live. So this isn't pre-recorded. This We don't have a teleprompter. Uh, we're not being produced by a producer. We're not being fed information into our ear. This is just us being genuine, having a conversation with an audience member, uh, whether it's one person or 15. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. You know, the goal is for you is just to act natural and just say what you would have said anyways if someone were right in front of you and you were doing a home door. Um, but in this case, it just happens to be a laptop and a microphone and multiple people watching. But at the end of the day, uh, get comfortable with it. And if you are apprehensive about being in front of a camera, Facebook Live Producer is a fantastic way for you to still take advantage of that distancing and that technology, but don't feel like you have to be all up in the camera and always on the camera. Um, you can screen share this and they can just listen to you talk about the benefits, the features of the home. And then in the end, build relationships with your audience members. And in the end of the day, as a real estate agent, that is our goal is building relationships. And now, since we all can't be in front of each other a lot, but I know I'm excited for tomorrow, though. Apparently we're open. So <laughs> the 15th, we're open. Uh, uh, like always, um, be careful be mindful, be positive about it. And if you have any questions or concerns, comments after the fact, feel free to email me. I'm Keith at WestUSA.com. I apologize again. I was not able to get into a live environment, but you're really not missing anything else. It's just, we just go live and then you'll see um, this turns into, this is me up here up top. And then there's a chat log and we're live. So that's really the last little step pretty much have gotten through all the nuts and bolts of creating this for you. I hope I gave you some tips and guidelines. I will have this recorded for you after the fact, and you can see this on our closed groups again. So a uh, little short today, not bad, 45 minutes. I want to thank our sponsors again. Thank you guys for listening. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, email me. I'm Keith at WestUSA.com. Next Thursday, we're doing Canva. Uh, we're cycling back through. 
So we'll be doing Canva Live again. I'm going to up it up a little bit more, take a little more advanced um, a course with this one. We're going to go into creating some cover photos and then some social media posts for Instagram. So uh, you guys have been great. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Be safe, and we'll see you soon.